Today in the Daily Dose, John Milton. Born in 1608 London, England, John Milton was one of three children born to John and Sarah Milton, who survived into adulthood, attending Christ College, Cambridge, where he received a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1629, followed by a Master's of Arts in 1632, earning the nickname Lady of Christ for his delicate looks and puritanical chastity, at the same time becoming fluent in multiple languages, including Latin, Greek, Italian, Hebrew, French, and Spanish. Spending the next six years with family in Buckinghamshire, Milton wrote On the Morning of Christ's Nativity, on Shakespeare, El Allegro, Il Penseroso, and Lycidas, the later in memory to a friend who had drowned. During his travels across Europe in 1638, 30 year old Milton met Galileo Galilei in Florence. When the great astronomer was old and blind and under house arrest for his heretical beliefs in a heliocentric universe, rather than the Earth-centric model as described in the Bible, a meeting which proved to be a tragic foreshadowing of Milton's own impending blindness and arrest in his years to come. Returning home early due to the impending English Civil War, while Milton believed in the inerrant authority of the Bible, he vehemently opposed institutions like the Church of England due to its incestuous ties to the monarchy. In response, Milton wrote pamphlets supporting Oliver Cromwell during the English Civil War, following the beheading of King Charles I and the rise of the Commonwealth of England. Imprisoned for his role in the Civil War, upon his release, Milton married for a third time before publishing his 10-volume epic poem, Paradise Lost, in 1667, which tells the story of Satan's fall from grace and Adam and Eve's expulsion from the Garden of Eden, a masterwork which he had dictated to his assistants due to blindness caused by his addictive dedication to scholarship and the written word. Considered by many to be the greatest epic poem ever written in English, Milton published a revised 12-volume version of Paradise Lost in 1674 before passing away that same year due to complications from gout. 63 years later, his achievements were memorialized by the dedication of a monument in Westminster Abbey's Poet's Corner, making the life and writings of John Milton a standout icon in the history of English literature. And there you have it, John Milton, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.